Well, that was an interesting way to end off a season. I mean, the Raiders literally were going to run the clock out. Pittsburgh was out. The Chargers were in. And Chargers decided, you know what? We're going to call a timeout and end that game with us losing. So, with that being said, we have a really interesting slate of games. And the playoffs are here, baby. We are talking about playoff football. So, there's no further ado than to talk about who's going to win and lose. So... We have the Raiders at the Bengals. Now, this game is going to be interesting because the Bengals are playing the first playoff game for a while. And to be honest, I don't see any way possible the Bengals lose this game. I mean, the Raiders are coming off a game where they had the Chargers beat. Chargers come back in the end. Then they go back and forth in overtime. <clears throat> they did go ahead and get a stop and end up beating the Chargers. But to be honest, I will say overall-wise... I like the Bengals. They have so much firepower in offense. I think their defense is lackluster. I think the Raiders can very much take advantage of that. But I still think the Bengals just going to be a tad bit too much to handle on offense. So, Patriots at Bills. Last time the Patriots played the Bills, the Bills went ahead and smacked them. The play before the game before that, the Patriots won in a snowstorm versus the Bills. So, with that being said, I will always say coaching will take you as far as humanly possible in the playoffs. That's where coaching really matters once you get to the playoffs. Younger quarterbacks will make mistakes. But guess what? You got a young quarterback in a rookie, Mac Jones. You got a young quarterback in Josh Allen. So you got two young quarterbacks where I think coaching matters, but I think both of these teams have pretty dang good coaching. So I'm just going to go ahead and have the Bills win because I just don't think Mac and Cheese can go ahead and get it done uh, for the Patriots. It's also in Buffalo. It's not like it's new in New England. It's just a different atmosphere, you know, do I believe that the Bills are susceptible to the run? I do believe that. And yes, the Raiders, are, I mean, the Patriots are very good against the run. Uh, or good at running. So it does help them a lot. But it's just, I feel like in this game, Buffalo gets up by three touchdowns and mac and cheese ends up looking cooked on the field. That's kind of how I feel like this game goes. All right. So Steelers made the playoffs. But the issue is they got to play the Kansas City Chiefs. And this is one of those games where last time they played a couple weeks ago, we saw like a 45 ga point game for the Kansas City Chiefs. And it didn't look like the Steelers had an any chance in heck. Now, this is a playoff game. So regular season games can be all thrown out the window when playoff games do come around. I kind of go back to the 2012 Super Bowl for the Ravens where we got absolutely smacked. And I'm talking about smacked in every single direction possible by the Denver Broncos. And then when we rematch in the playoffs, the, we beat the Broncos and went to the Super Bowl and won. So it's very possible that you couldn't get smacked up and down the wall Again, like I said, like the Ravens did against the Broncos and then go in the playoffs and actually go ahead and get the W and beat that team. Even though, yes, you got smacked up and down the wall. The playoffs are a completely different animal. It's a one-game elimination. And usually how this works is there are teams that will actually play worse in the playoffs than they do in the regular season. A team in the regular season could beat someone 60-3 to and in the playoffs absolutely choke it away. I mean, the Chiefs versus the Bucks last year in the regular season, they smacked the Bucks. In the uh, in the uh, what's called Super Bowl, they got smacked by the Bucks. Okay, so it's possible. So how do the Steelers win this game? Well, first off, Steelers have to go ahead and have a 200 yard game by Najee Harris. It has to be just run, 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 run. Keep my man Mahomes off the field, and Ben. It can't be relying on how good Ben is because I don't think Ben's going to be able to go out there and put up a 300 yard game in a shootout versus the Chiefs. Now, at the same time, the Chargers earlier this year, actually, the Steelers played a pretty dang good game against them. Now, Steelers are very much a second-half team, kind of like the Baltimore Ravens. And that's the type of situation where you lose the game versus Kansas City. I think the Steelers have a chance versus Kansas City. I've seen so many people say, oh, no, there's zero chance in heck KC even makes this a close game. You can look at that regular season game. You can't ever really look at a regular season game and compare it to a playoff game. It just simply is not the same atmosphere at all. There was a crap ton of players who will play very good in regular season. And then once it gets the playoffs, they start choking, messing up Phil Rivers. I'm thinking about him. I'm thinking about Peyton Manning. I'm thinking about, you know, crap ton of other players who simply in the postseason are not there. In the regular season, whoo, whoo, my man. Peyton Manning might be the best quarterback ever in the regular season. In the postseason, he just simply was never the greatest quarterback. I mean, you obviously got Tom Brady, who is the greatest quarterback in the postseason. 
And that's where the Buccaneers goes ahead and gets the W right here. And they win in the postseason for their first game. So Cardinals at Rams. This is really a toss-up for me. I think both of these teams have an equal chance to win. I mean, the Cardinals are coming off a loss to the Seattle Seahawks. And the Rams are coming off a loss to the 49ers that they had the game won. Literally, gets they got, they got to stop. Gets the ball back with less than two minutes to go. All they have to do is get one first down. Game's over. They win the game. Everything's happy. Everyone's smiling. And they find a way to lose that game. They give the ball right back to the 49ers after three timeouts. 49ers go downfield, tie the game up, win it overtime. Kind of disappointing if you're a Rams fan. But listen, it happens. Uh, with that being said, though, in that game, I will say overall-wise, again, Cardinals, Rams, I think the Rams have a little bit of an edge, but I don't think it's by much. And if you told me, you know, in this game, hey, listen, just a pick them, I would probably pick the Rams. But if you gave me a point spread, I could not give a pick, honestly. Because both these teams, I feel like, are very, very evenly matched. And if you go back and forth to divisional rival, I'm not even going to touch this game. But I still think it's a really good game. All right, 49ers at Cowboys. 49ers really proven one thing, that they have the ability to go ahead and actually, you know, win, pretty much win against anybody. And I have a lot of faith that they can win in this game and a lot of other games. But I will say it all depends on what Cowboys offense shows up. Their defense has been pretty solid as of late for the Cowboys. But their offense has been kind of like eight leader a zero or 100 real quick. And we have seen games where against the, you know, against the Eagles, where they had, Eagles had nothing pretty much. But against the Washington football team when they put up 50 plus points. And then those games where they absolutely blow it. So it's like, what kind of Cowboys offense are we going to get? Are we going to get the Cowboys offense that chokes? So we can get the Cowboys offense that actually does good. And I think for the first game of the playoffs in Jerry's world, that's where we see the actual good playoff, good team actually show up and good team play some good football. So that's where I'm going to have that. And let's go ahead and now get into the division around playoffs. So division around is where we get a little bit interesting because Derrick Henry comes back fully healthy. They have a first round bye for the Tennessee Titans. And now they go against the Cincinnati Bengals who are coming off one of the first playoff wins in a very long time. So what do the Bengals do against the Titans? Because I will say right now, the Titans are one of the scariest teams on paper. But at the same time, they literally almost lo not lost, but they let the Texans come back in a game last week and they could have lost if that game kept going. So it's one of those games where you look at it and you're like, okay, well... The Titans, I mean, again, on paper, didn't have Derrick Henry last week. One of the best teams. Now, my guess would be Tennessee, because it is running straight through Tennessee for this whole entire playoff run, is that King Henry will be the guy who catches the ball two, three hundred times in the next couple of weeks. Now, if he can stay healthy, if he can go come back, be healthy, stay healthy, and be ready to go for the rest of the playoff run, this is the scariest team in the NFL right now uh, under Derrick Henry. So I will say overall-wise, because of that, and he's only, honestly, he's the only guy in the playoffs, only team in the playoffs that have a true running back. Again, Jonathan Taylor, Colts missed it. So the only true running back that can actually push through this whole entire league right now and actually get to a Super Bowl, I will say I'm going to have them win. Bills at Chiefs. I'm going to have the Chiefs win. I think the Chiefs have just a little bit of uh, extra oomph over the Bills. But I'm not surprised the Bills actually win this game. Cowboys at Bucks. I have a lot of faith in the Bucks, but it all depends on how many players they get back from injury. They got too many players on injury for my liking, personally speaking wise. Um, and I think it's it's one of those games where the Cowboys should have won earlier this season. If it wasn't for the fact that backers win, it wasn't for the fact that um, what's called there was literally seven missed field goals by the Cowboys. I think this is a back and forth type of game. Again, like I said before, I think the Cowboys have a real good chance. I think the Bucks have it in the end, but I think it's a very good uh, game nonetheless. Chiefs at Titans. This is a game where, you know, it really comes down. It's Derrick Henry's fully healthy. It's going to be a hard team to really stop. And I said, you know, the whole winning narrative for the Steelers 
is just getting Najee Harris the ball 30 times and running for 200 plus yards. And I really truly do believe that could happen in this game versus for the Titans. But at the same time, though, I mean, the Chiefs are going to be a high-powered team. If they get up by three touchdowns, it is really hard to go ahead and say, hey, listen, we're going to run the ball 60 times with Derrick Henry if we're down by three touchdowns. And that's kind of the same narrative that this, you know, the uh, Patriots fall themselves into, where it's like, hey, if we're down by so much, we kind of can't keep running the football. I mean, we could try, but it's not going to work out too, too well. So with that being said, Chiefs win. Bucks at Packers. Um, like I said before, you know, I know a lot of people are going to comment down below and say, oh, the Packers are the playoff chokes. The Packers are the playoff chokes. And I guess to some degree, you could obviously say that. But I will say overall-wise, even if they're the playoff chokes, I don't think the uh, Packers have a lot of firepower in their engine. I love their team. I don't love their defense. I love the team. I don't love their defense. But with that being said, by this time the NFC Championship game, the Bucs should have a lot of players back and more healthy. So we should see a rematch of the Super Bowl last year between the Chiefs and the Buccaneers. <clears throat> this time the Chiefs winning. Guys, if you did enjoy this video, hit the likes, comment down below. I'll see you guys next one. Peace out.